welcome to the NBS Show, episode number 285. I am your host, Number Sanzo. I am doing this kind of in a live audience with my quote-unquote co-hostess. And, well, um, let's see. I have Dragon with me again. Hello. And I have Tina. Oh, this is soft. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, yes, this is Tina. All right. And also we got... Amy, right? Yeah, Amy. All right. Hello, guys. So, um, these are the other two people that joined me for the movie premiere. Well, it's, really, it's not really premiere. It's just the first day of the movie came out. You um, say the movie screening. Yeah, screening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, these are the other two people that joined me for the movie. And, well, they're going to join me for a news episode. So, yay. Yay. So, yay. <laughs> <laughs> so anywho, I, I, usually before I start, I like to ask you, well, I like to ask the... Uh, people with me, how was their week? So, you know what? Yeah, how was your guy's week, Dragon? Oh, well, it's been good. It's been quite good, actually. Yeah, yeah. Did anything interesting? Uh, well, hanging out with you, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so, Tina, what about you? Um, My week has been quite busy since I have to go from one place to another at a very long distance. I have to go to MMU, I have to interview with cartoonists, and I recently just interviewed the Sire cartoonist, one of the Malaysian cartoonists, mm, all and right. it's for my master coursework research, and yeah, it's been very fruitful and tired at the same time. Oh, that's cool, that's yeah. cool. But um, overall, it's really good. It's a good experience. Alright. And Amy, what about you? How was your week? Well, I sort of, because like, I have quite... Like, a lot of things to do but I'm super slacking because my boss is away for honeymoon in Europe so oh, wow. I'm super <laughs> slacking that's why you see you've been listening to me I'm telling you I'll stay back at the office because I was slacking too much <laughs> <laughs> but I'm catching up I finished my work already that's why I can go to the screening like, yeah. your boss won't never listen to this so he will never know no I think he knows I'm slacking he can see my Facebook post <laughs> I'm there when he comes <laughs> Alrighty then, so anywho, let's, well, let's not slack anymore and let's head into the first news. So, anywho, we recently watched the My Little Pony movie and season 8 is kind of happening, but for you guys that want to know, the movie takes place in between the end of season 7 and before the beginning of season 8. So, I don't know how much info we'll get out of this, but hey, one of the people in charge, Big Jim Miller, recently tweeted that the movie takes place in between season 7 and season 8. Oh. So, this is something similar to the first movie, which is the Equestria Girls thingy, where it was in between season 3 and season 4, but quote-unquote that was not canon, so nobody counts it as such, but whatever. Mm. So, for this one, this is canon, I think, so we'll see how it goes in the future. Well, if, if it's canon, right, it has some problems there, because... I originally assumed it was in between season 6 and 7. But now when you say the movie, but since uh. you say it's 7 and 8, then I have one varying problem I have a bit with that film. Why Starlight Glimmer is like not there? When you know in 7 season, she's quite... Prominent. Yes, prominent. No, okay, um, the thing is, if you guys notice, she was in the movie. But yeah, but it's, I know, but it's just like, not as like, like you say it's not that prominent. That's why I, originally I did assume it was between 6 and 7, then it makes sense. Well, then again, she was there with Trixie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's like, and what we're saying, this is in the trailer, so you can go check it out. Yeah, but yeah. still, um, the thing is, this script was written way back when, before. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. That, that's what me and Tina were discussing last time, and that's why we say, yeah, that's, that's why it yeah. happened that way. Yeah, and yeah. people don't really like the Shim Sham, so... It would be best not to include her. People will get really, really salty. Yeah, and they yeah. have to drink a lot of water to <laughs> calm down. Oh, they did went to the sea anyway. <laughs> Sorry for that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, it's in between glaring problems. That's one. The another glaring problem I see would be Tempest. So, yeah. we'll be... Well, obviously, she won't be around because of cash reasons. Hasbro's not going to pay Emily Blunt to voice her again. Like... Maybe yeah, you'll get another voice actor. Then. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, the advantage of animation, you can get voice actor that close enough or really yeah. can do a voice. Maybe they'll it's just give the yeah. voice over to someone else who's yeah. already there in the, in, in the yeah. uh, I don't think it's a cast. problem if they really want I to do that. I think if there's going to be a singing session in one of the episodes, they will feel like, oh, it's not the same the one in the movie. Oh, Me, if uh, they really find it. Like, here's, the, here's the thing, like, okay, that can happen and I don't doubt it. But the thing is, um, this happens recently in... 
episode 22 or 21. I don't really remember. It's the one where Twilight and her family went on vacation or mm-hmm. got a free vacation trip. And the voice for Twilight's parents sounded really, really different and off. But I think that one shouldn't be... I, I don't mean, you know the hardcore fan might notice, but at least they are quite a minor character. Yes, but so. here's the thing. Like The only reason why I brought it up is Twilight's parents in Season 7, Episode 1 and 2 mm-hmm. were... Well, actually, it's Episode 2, but nobody's counting. But anyway, um, <laughs> the only reason why is her mother was voiced by Tara Strong, who voices Twilight. Yep. And the dad was voiced by Shining Armor, which is... Um, I forgot the name. Vince? No, not Vincent. Yeah, something, something I forgot. But the son and the mother were playing the, you, you know, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. sorry, uh, mother is playing the daughter, the daughter's, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah it so makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. sense. So back then, I think it was kind of a rush job, like mm. fasting. But for this one, it's going to be more prominent. I, 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 to me, it would be nice if we got the same actors doing the voices again, but... Vegas can be choosers and so on. So for this one, if Tempest does show up, I'll be surprised because, wow, they got hired and we run. And we hear the voice, oh no, it's not even run. But I'm surprised they put the movie character as canon. So, hmm, that'll be interesting to see for the yeah. future. Or let alone uh, let allowing Hippogriffin appearing in the season. Yeah, that would be interesting. That would be... Some of, I mean, some of we've been introduced to other characters, like the cat yeah. and other creatures that like, yeah. we never really see and, much before. And the pirate... The pirate, yeah. Pirate, yeah, pirate, the pirate parrots. Yeah, yeah. The pirate parrots. Pirate, pirate, pirate parrots. That's yeah. a mouthful. So, anywho, um, that we'll see how it goes for the future. But I doubt that we'll be getting any of them anytime soon. So maybe in the future we will see how it goes because yeah. season eight is still in the work, so we got no idea. So, anywho, let's move on to the next news the with this season, mm-hmm. season seven. There's a lot of leaks. Like, mm-hmm. I got no idea if you guys know or not, but there has been a lot of leaks. And right now, even with season 7, like, not including the whole Hasbro or the Canadian Treehouse TV showing episodes earlier, and then Australia having earlier episodes even. Um, I forgot. Uh, <coughs> some European country even having earlier episodes out. Like this season has been full of leaks and whatnot. Yeah. Somehow, there's the show Bible. Like, you guys know what it is, right? Like, yeah, yeah. I know. I think you do know, right, mm-hmm. Tina? Show Bibles in general. No, I don't think so. You don't know what yeah, show Bible is. The term show Bible. No, sometimes no. she do know things, but just sometimes she not show the official name. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So anywho, um, show Bible is the conceptual idea for a show beforehand like oh i see like it's like okay um things must be done this way character design must be done this way and so on so on so on so there's quote unquote the show bible and the show bible for mlp was done by lauren faust Mm -hmm. and her words were kind of awesome like kind of law kind of deal so having it being posted to the public is like what yeah, this has been posted to the public. This is not right. Like, no, nobody should have been able to see this except for people who are working on the show. So, anywho, it got leaked. And we all who are kind of big fans got to see it. And we kind of knew things like certain episode ideas involving yeah. this one pony who was brought up by deers and so on. Or how Twilight Sparkle was not really Twilight Sparkle, but... Twilight Tinkle and her color was not that and so on. Like, oh, we are introduced to this kind of things. But the other part is like, oh my god, huge leak, how happened? So it will be something like you were working on something and you were given all this info and you were to sign this non-disclosure agreement, meaning you cannot show it to anyone except people working in the same company and so on. But with this now being public, it's like, wow, somebody in, really, really... In case you're curious, right, I'll just let you know, because my previous job, I was, I will not say the company name, mm-hmm. but I was working with an animation company, which, not bragging, but yes, I did project for Cartoon Network and mm-hmm. Disney. And yes, we have all this, so I understand the totally about show Bible. When when this leak did happen, right, I did talk with some my previous company who are still there, the animators and the background artists. Uh, we just speculate. I don't want to say it's confirmed or not. Sometimes, right, I don't know what happened between them, but it could be the payment or they did not agree with the project. So somebody, 
is the leaking could happen because it's a way of revenge because I'm from the industry at least we are not the main one we're outsourced they could leak because you know quite high but it's also possible they're just super excited too excited and I feel like no like I, I do understand that but this is like year seven of this thing yeah, so yeah. the excitableness has gone like just gone like people are really and that's another thing also we think sometimes it could be a marketing gimmick to make people interested suddenly since you know kind of but with yeah. the with the leak with the recent super big leak that I'm not gonna say yeah I know it's Sorry. very questionable that's the thing that I'm very very concerned about the future yeah because yeah. the thing is things like this happen it can be a good thing and, and it could be a bad thing yeah. and yeah. There's a chances that they're not. They really have no idea how the future gonna go. So this one. It's kind of not that. To, uh, I don't know. It's it's kind of the situation where you don't really know. Mm. You can only speculate. But I got no idea because I want the show to continue on because I do enjoy where it's going. Yeah. But mm-hmm. if the show suddenly cancels because of this thing, it'll be kind of sad because of this thing. Hasbro doesn't want to do anything anymore because they think that this is some kind of yeah, failure. Yeah, breach, breach, yeah, breach yeah. of trust is gone at this point. Yeah. Yeah. So I do hope that this doesn't affect the show in any way or shape or form and the show still continues on. So I do hope for that. So anywho, on to the next news. Um, kind of still insider news kind of thing. We got a new executive producer for the show named Nicole Dubuck. I think I may have watched that name. But yeah. anywho, uh, Nicole here has been working for the hub since the very beginning. And now it's like her seven years. She's like a veteran of this. And she's been into this. Like she's really, really into it. And I do wish her well. I do hope that mm-hmm. she does everything well. And everybody supports her. Like how we support some of the older people like um, uh, Mike Vogel and so on. And seeing here that... Like, she has done work on staff writing on Transformers Prime, creative mm, slash wow. story editor, and executive producer for Transformers Rescue Robot, uh, Rescue Bots, oh, that yeah. kid show. Yeah. Um, wrote for The Hunting Hour, wrote for Spooksville, executive producer for story, you know, executive producer slash story editor for My Little Pony. And I think I did saw her name in the movie, so that's interesting. You didn't see? Hmm? What, you see, you see? see her name I thought yeah. her name with uh, Mike Vogel so I wish her for the best and I do hope for the future so awesome anywho on to unexpected news recently there's this mini novel called Ponyville Mysteries it's some kind of kid novel kind of thing and it's a fun read if you like reading I personally like reading comics <laughs> that's me but in this one the re- the reason why I bring this up is because Gurulu, we all think she lives in a box under Rainbow Dash's house. Because, well, we don't see her parents at all. And we hardly hear she say anything sounds family. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. it's not like she's I an really orphan. I mistaken that Skurlu is actually Rainbow Dash's little sister, but I remember that she's not, right? Yeah, yeah she's yeah. not. She's not. Yeah, exactly. I was like, I start to mistake in it. <laughs> I mean, at least we know the main, the, uh, but the main six, we already see everyone's parents. Yeah. Mm. And now it's just like, it's like Skurlu is still the acting yeah. character, you know? The sad thing is everyone thought that she was an orphan. Poor I really think she's an orphan. Yeah, yeah. I cannot I think help. it will be revealed next season. I hope so. Here's the so. thing. In this book, it yeah. explains that Rainbow Dash's parents are AFK. <laughs> Rainbow Dash? Sorry, um, my bad. bad. Scooter Lou's parents <laughs> are AFK. My bad. So, um, they are always away. Business, vacation, I got no idea. Uh, so, see. now Scooter Lou lives with her aunt uh, named Aunt Holiday. Aunt she, Holiday. Aunt Holiday. Yes, she is an earth pony. Uh-huh. And she is the older sister to Scooter Lou's dad. Yeah, interesting. And living with them is Aunt Lofty, a pegasi. And the thing is, uh, they ain't sisters. They're close, close friends. You mean the way this pro- it's uh, mentioned in the book? Yes, because uh. um, I'll read a short text here. Hey Slugger, what are you doing here? Aunt Lofty asked. I came home last night. It's not a big deal. It's good to lose said more forcefully than she intended. Lofty arched her eyebrow. In contrast to Aunt Holiday, she never lets 
things rest until she had an answer. Aunt Holiday came trotting in to the room and kissed Lofty on top of her head. Mm-hmm. So now, um, when you hear something like that, what do you think? Like, um, quite dull, actually. Uh, very affectionate. Let's just leave it at that. Yes, very affectionate. So someone had to ask someone about something, right? Come on, like you can't leave something like oh. Scootoodles and is a lesbian. She oh. has big friendships. Like, whoa. Please don't. It's not <clears throat> so, anywho, someone asked Mike Vogel, one of the writers for the show. And um, he replied with this. Well, not really replied, but he posted it's this fun. one picture. Mm-hmm. This one picture is by Pixel Kitties showing a picture of Aunt Lofty and Scootaloo and Aunt Holiday together. Just for funsies. And it's kind of fun. Like, it's a nice picture. It's really nice. Sweet. Someone asked, Are there really lesbians in this actual book? (laughs) (laughs) I'll get straight to the point. And Vogel says, There aren't sisters. So, are you saying there are? My Vogel says, When I say cute couple, I'm saying that Aunt Holiday and Aunt Lofty are a cute couple. Yes. Oh, Oh, yay! Wow! Oh, he and actually he mentioned that he did. Okay. Yeah, so it's like, now, in the book, they introduce lesbian couples. So, this is interesting. Will it carry over to the real show? That's one thing for us to... That, yeah. Yeah, that will be yeah. answered in another thing. Mm. But the idea that is interesting, I do like where this is going. This would be fun. I mean, seeing American cartoon series nowadays, they even show it on Steven Universe and Adventure Time. Can see it nowadays. Yeah, it's about time for some progression. Well, they are supporting the the LGBT. Right? Yeah, the LGBT. There you go. That's the term. Mm. They they are respo- uh, supporting that. So of course they need to teach the children who are confused with the gender in this generation. I, I I don't know if that's the right phrasing to do because oh, a cartoon show about magical colored horses is mm. Meant to technically. Be like- just, yeah, yeah, just have true. fun with it. I mean, with Steven Universe, it's a bit different because they state that we choose this form. Mm-hmm. Like, we are not really girls. We are just forms. Like, we choose to be in this form. Oh, yeah. So they can be quite they, liquid. Yeah, yeah. They, they did ex- uh, the gem did explain that they're just energy and the mass is only happen when they're on Earth. And they if they mass. selected what they want. And mm. they're all girls. Like, even in Homeworld, they were all girls. Yeah, like even in home world, I'm not going to question anything because yeah. I like the show. So ponies. yeah, let's be it. <laughs> so with ponies here, it will be interesting to see what they do. Because is this going to be carried over to the show or not? <clears throat> it's actually quite interesting because remember last time we did in our comic panel last time, we mm-hmm. were de- it's not like we are debating, we are just questioning whether the comic is going to be canon as well, right? Remember but we did mentioned that the comic canon is beat here usually so whatever the show does is canon and whatever the comic does is tier 2 until it's been counteracted by whatever the show does because one of our main topic last time was Sombra am I right? Mm -hmm. yeah the the main thing we brought up last time and yes I do remember that one but here's the thing with how the show is going in for season 7 season 7 as I always said is the season of crossovers yes because it's trying to tie in a lot with the comics. Mm. So whatever the comic is going through now, is going through the show. Um, one example is that episode where Fluttershy wanted to do her animal park. Mm-hmm. There's a continuation in the comic book or in between. Like, what did, how did the animal act? Like, I think Angel Bunny had to take <coughs> care of the animals from the what you call this uh, hosp- animal hospital or animal clinic and they were staying at Angel Bunny's house or Fluttershy's house and the CMC were there to help things out so to me that was kind of interesting in terms of how they're doing it then and now with the whole legends like the whole like uh, remember that one camping scene where Rainbow Dash Applejack Rarity were mm-hmm. talking about the stories of the legends yeah, yeah. the legends Yes. there's a comic about that and that's called um, My Little Pony Legends of Magic. I, yeah, I haven't, I haven't managed to start reading yet. That's, oh. why, that's why I couldn't talk much about it yet. Yes. So, anywho, 
those are tie-ins to the book and so on. And especially with the the, the latest one, the mail, the uh, they have Meadowbrook. Yes, yes. Uh, they, I forgot. They already name. announced the comic also. Actually, it's out, and mm-hmm. she has two comics. She has her own series in the show. Well, not mm-hmm. own series. My bad. Um, she has her own episode. Back. Yeah. She has her own mainline comic, and she also has her own legends. So she, well, technically she's the fetish of the group, but she has a lot of story for for her. Oh, even with flashback, we can see how interesting she is. Yes. Episode 19. Oh, I forgot. But yeah, episode 19, been, yeah. yeah. But, see, this is what I'm saying. Like, this season has a lot of crossovers. Like, tie-ins, sorry. Tie-ins with the books. They're trying to do that for this season. And it's very interesting. I do like the concept. Like, if you're working for a cartoon company, you want to try to sell more things. Like, your Hasbro, you want to sell more things. You want to tie in together. Like, oh, the hmm. book and the things. Like, this is quite awesome. I do like this. I do hope they try it for the future and so on. But something like this could fail. Yep. Like I mentioned yesterday, or well, in the quote-unquote movie discussion I had, is that some of the scenes in the movie are kind of missed. Like, the caper character, the cat guy, mm-hmm. he had this debt with... Uh, Volo, the mole character. Yeah, yeah. If you're watching it, it could be something like, oh, it could be like, oh, he's a con artist, so some of his con didn't work. Obviously, right? Yeah, yeah. There's a story about him, how he got the debt. Mm. So, like, I knew, but most of the people didn't. So it's like, oh, you did not know what happened. Oh, okay. You guys should probably go read the comics to understand more. That thing was a bit dangerous in terms of telling a story. Including now, I'm missing something about Tempest because she has her own prequel novel. I didn't buy it because, like I said, I don't like reading. <laughs> so all I have to assume is, if I were to buy the novel, that would be awesome and I get to know more about Tempest and I know she would be awesome and whatnot. But hey, if I miss, I miss. If I get a chance to read it, i read it. <laughs> we brought again about like the comic last night. What is Sandy? They really want to make it the crossover. They bring Sombra, a good guy. And people are like, why Sandy Sombra is a good guy? Yes. But if you read the comic, you know what happened. Yes. I'm sorry, so be small spoiler here. <laughs> no, 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 it's like that comic's been how long now? So anywho, it's very long time ago. <laughs> um, that's news for this week. So well, this is a bit different podcast because I'm in a live room and editing is going to be heck for this one. But hey, it's all fun. So anywho, um. <laughs> Let's move on to the next topic, which is, what have you guys been doing with your week? So, Dragon, you've been quiet for a bit. What have you done with your week? Uh, let's see. Work, go home, play games, watch movies, work. <laughs> go home, play games, watch movies. It's been rather routine, honestly. Okay, so... The only break in it was, oh, well, you came down to KL and... Yeah, yeah we hung out for a while. That's good. Alright, but... You said games. Like, what have you been playing? Playing a lot of Killing Floor. Ah, Killing Zombies Floor. and stuff. Nice. Killing Floor 2, right? To be Killing specific. Floor 2, to be exact. All right. From what you told me, I might be interested in getting that game when it's cheap. Because it seems fun from what you told me. It's a lot easier to play compared to Killing Floor 1, that's for sure. Ah, yes. So, um, Tina, what about you? What have you been doing with your week? Um, this week have been, as I mentioned before, mm-hmm. been going all the way to Cyber MMU University for interviewing. Thanks to a classmate of mine because originally I couldn't go due to finance of the trip and she was able to pull me in anyway and even it was a bit stressful at the same time I was quite sick because I I have to uh, overwork one and then I I originally live in Sha'alam the section two uh, section Mm. seven sorry and going from one place to another that's quite far it's already tiring because you have to ride a train and exchange and you have to spend a lot of money. Mm-hmm. So my friend happened to ask me to house sit and take care of her cats these two weeks while she's away. So I'm closer to KL to whenever and wherever I want to do for my research. All right, cool. Yeah. So basically we cat sitting, house sitting and doing research. All right. Yeah. And what about you, Amy? What have you been doing for a week? Well, roughly the same with Dragon, you know, working and then go back home, play games. <laughs> So, just Dragon Age. Oh, okay, Dragon cool. Age Inquisition. I just want to make everything 100%. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
me it's so tempting and then I'm doing in Tober do you guys oh. know in Tober? Oh, yeah, yeah it's the uh, I saw, I saw. sketch thing for yeah I haven't missed in Tober in the past 3 years and oh. I'm, and yesterday I haven't post yet because we went with to my little pony I yeah, I drawing Kepper because I got crush on him <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh. my dad because this every year whenever I do in Tobo I always have a team like of a song this year team was doll BJD because I just got myself BJD a sad day to have Kepper stole <laughs> the slot <laughs> <laughs> alrighty then, alrighty then. So anyway, as for me, I travel all the way down to KL to watch the movie. Besides that, like my week has been pretty dull. I played more Overwatch, Halloween special thingy. So I've been doing that. So yeah, more Overwatch and pony movies. So yay. Anywho, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at animationgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at show, and my personal account is at Roman Sanzo. So, Dragon, where can the good people find you? I used to have a film fiction site. Uh, it's under Jewel Eater Dragon as well, but uh, uh, there hasn't been anything there for years. So, go pressure, Honestly. Him. Go pressure <laughs> him to write more. Uh, no. <laughs> Tina, where can the good people find you? Um, I'm mostly drawing comics, so I guess you can find me on Instagram as Honey Tafrun. Alright, Tina. And Amy, what about you? Well, you can just find me anywhere. My social media. I mean, I'm still Instagram, Twitter, anywhere. Uh, Ely Carry Doll. Alrighty, then I'll put everything in the show notes. Oh, uh, yes, below. yeah, yes. There's one more. I totally forgot about this. Uh, mostly because I'm half asleep right now. Mm-hmm. There is a Tumblr account you can follow if you like, if you like to see Twilight Float going on holidays and all that. Oh. You can look for a Tumblr account. I think it's called, I can't remember right now. Twilight <laughs> Sparkles Photos. I all think right. it's Twilight Sparkle Photos, one word. It's all linked together. I'll put everything yeah, you into have to the show down. notes. <laughs> so, uh, and also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. And you can also catch us on PonyVerLife.com. Links will be in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to our latest endeavor, the MBS Show Review and Discussion Podcast, available on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, and Sapphire Heart Song reviewing the Pony episodes comics and also movies um, what else do we do yes we also do random stuff like movies and so on also if you'd like to support the show you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show with every support you get early access to the review and discussion podcast um, deleted contents and also exclusives and also a huge thank you from me talking about thank yous I'd like to thank Lurka, Cat, Navigatoria Starstream and also Master of Light thank you so much guys you've been really awesome so anyhow, I have been Roman Sanzo. This is Jewel. This is Tina. And this is Amy. And we'll guys will catch you next week with another fun and amazing show. See ya. Take care. Bye. 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 Battery's blinking. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I need to find if I can get battery. Never mind, I, I'll try and finish first. Um, <coughs> I wonder if we should tell the whole battery issue then. Yeah, yeah we can uh, tell the story of the battery, how you made us buy the battery and it was the wrong size. But, um, uh, <laughs> That's might, about it. The yes. battery might not live long to hear the story. Yeah, but anyway, I need to get this fast. Anyway, three, Let's go find the winner.